Hello, everybody. I'm Krasi, and I will be talking again about the Jupiter and Saturn conjunction, which is taking place to actually, it's a fact already. It is a fact since 25th of November 2020, since Jupiter entered Sidereal Capricorn. Then the planets had a distance of about 3-4 degrees, which is a very strong conjunction already. So we are able to experience the energies of this conjunction now as we speak. Um, this is a very important historical, historical event, astronomical, and you know what is happening above us always uh, takes place on Earth. So obviously we will experience the lessons of this uh, historical conjunction. I have one video where I'm explaining exactly the meaning of this conjunction, quoting ancient authors. Uh, there was author, there were authors like Abu Mashar, who were almost obsessed with the uh, analysis of the effects of the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction, and the effects are always um, changing the world. Always the world. Uh, is changing after such great conjunction. This conjunction is different now because it is uh, the planets are in such positions that they would look like one star, but you hear about this for just from everywhere. So yes, the planets will come together, Jupiter and Saturn, and they will look as one star. I was thinking uh, in advance whether I should make such talismans, um, and I, it took me time to decide because of the complex nature of these two planets meeting together. Why is it complex? Because in some horoscopes, this conjunction can give great results, wealth, success, positive changes, but in others, this conjunction can give poor results and the changes may not be that benefic. Why is this? This is because it all depends, first of all, on the placement of Saturn in our horoscopes. People who know what is um, discipline, people who uh, know to respect uh, um, moral values, uh, base, they certainly would have well-placed Saturn in their horoscopes. When we are deviating from the truth, when we do not know what discipline is, when we are deviating from moral values, obviously there is something weak with Saturn in our horoscopes. And obviously such placements of Saturn, uh, Jupiter as well, but Saturn is the one who gives the difficulties. So obviously such placement of Saturn will not give the expected brilliant results of this otherwise called royal conjunction. Why royal? Well, these are two royal figures on the sky, two great uh, gods uh, which, uh, which are um, represented, the two planets are represented by the uh, Greek divinities of Kronos and Jupiter, or in the Babylonian mythology, these are uh, Ninurta and uh, Marduk. So these are, you know, uh, ancient mythological stories. Also in the Indian Vedic one, we're talking about two king royal uh, personalities, principles on the sky. Well, indeed, this is a royal conjunction because it will shake the world. The world will not be the same. I thought that if I make such um, uh, talismans. Um, I thought that they would have the role of remedy. Remedy for those who have poorly placed Jupiter and Saturn in the horoscopes and who will probably uh, experience the change in a more difficult way. And more uh, a remedy as well for those who have um, good, well placed Saturn, but still such talisman can even get, give them better results. So in both cases, I see the work of such talisman more as a help. I will show you, um, of course, I have no experience. This thing is happening so rarely that maybe in, our, in some of our past lives, we witnessed uh, this conjunction and we know, we knew, we experienced the effects of it. I don't know, we will see. It is, uh, 
for sure very, very, very potent conjunction. I will share with you the moment of the conjunction. Actually, even today as we speak, Jupiter and Saturn are together in the six degrees of uh, the sidereal Capricorn in the vicinity of the star Altair. And like I, sp I explained you in previous videos, the star Altair can be two things. One, it is the horns of the uh, Capricorn, which can be evil, or if we take the high vibrations of this conjunction, it can be brilliant, it can be awakening, it can, be, it can help you against um, a bad evil influences and um, evil um, energies of people. So it, can, it is a matter of choice. This conjunction, and especially if you see how the sigil of this conjunction looks, you understand that it has to do with balance, making a choice, declaring ourselves. Are we with the uh, benefic, white, spiritual, divine forces, or we decide to remain in the frames of the matrix and materialism, which is not divine? So it is conjunction of choices. It will make us make choices. That's for sure. So just uh, a bracket to open for those of you who are not familiar, who are new to my channel and probably not familiar with my talismans. What are the talismans? It, probably you all know, or if you don't, you will notice. In the excavations of the ancient cities, uh, take Babylon, take uh, Assyria, take uh, in the excavations of ancient Rome, um, you people, uh, arch arch archeologists are finding uh, pieces of gemstones in in metal, uh, people uh, in metal, which actually some of them even have inscription or they have um, uh, carved gemstones. This is always a talisman. It 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 always carries symbolic value, either for achieving goal, certain goal, or for um, a remedy. A remedy when there is a weak uh, planet in the horoscope. Uh, which is causing problems, very good remedy could be the talisman of such planet. Uh, information enough, may, uh, on my website you can, you can see under this video, I will be, I always put links to my websites and there are articles and explanations. Uh, also, I have a website which is called the Astral Magic School, where you can see many free um, resources related to this. So, the ancients would wear jewelry, not as a beauty, uh, beautiful uh, article. They would wear the jewelry with a sense, with the idea of um, making, of benefiting from this piece of jewelry, benefiting from the gemstone, from the metal, and of course from the consecrated uh, piece of jewelry as a whole. What is this? It is that uh, the the talismans are made like I will make now the talismans of tomorrow, when the planets or the star or the planets are highly dignified, specifically highly dignified on the sky. So this is, uh, this is a very well chosen astrological timing. We cannot just make talismans every day for some, for some of the talismans I've been waiting for years. Like when the, in this January I was making the Jupiter talismans, I waited years to get Jupiter in this position to enter the sidereal, uh, um, excuse me, Sagittarius. So it is a thing which, which requires patience. Um, it will be funny to say we waited like 800 years to get Jupiter and Saturn uh, in this position. Well, uh, probably this is the thing. Probably this conjunction indeed happened only 800 years ago. Probably indeed this conjunction was the conjunction which formed the star of Bethlehem. We don't know, we will see. In any case, what we know is that astronomically, this conjunction is rare, mighty, and may bring luck, and may bring positive changes. So, uh, to go back to my explanation about the talismans. So, I'm getting the untreated, unheated, by no means, gemstones. In most of the cases, the gemstones are being cut uh, and shaped and po polished in in, uh, by a geologist in lapidary, especially for me. And then, of course, I create, already I create my own uh, jewelry and I create this as a piece of jewelry. I, I add to these uh, herbs, which I gather also on the appropriate 
astronomical timing, curb and, and uh, essential oil. And, and then based on this, I perform um, ancient Babylonian ritual. And, and um, yes, in invoking the planetary spirit, the planetary principle who is supposed to come and bless this jewelry. My talismans work amazingly. I have so many, for already for many years, um, since two, 2000, I think 2017, I have amazing responses uh, from people and I also uh, cannot imagine my life without my talismans anymore uh, because they are in a way present um, in our lives. So because with the consecration on the appropriate astronomical timing, we are invoking the spirit, we are invoking the principle behind the planet, or the or the stars but like i'm telling you check my school many articles i placed explanations of the powers of the planets probably you enjoyed so yes tomorrow evening after the sun sets um it is difficult to say it will be different for each astro no not astronomical but for each geographical area uh when you'll be able to witness this beautiful event most probably it is around eight o'clock in the evening for my area, 7.30 in Europe. If you will not be able to see because there will be clouds, it is possible, but the intention is important. Again, watch this event, it will be beautiful. Um, at least it will be, well, important. Um, also two, three interesting things to tell you. Um, the the, the, the typical color of Jupiter, which I usually announce when I'm making my uh, weekly uh, videos and when I'm um, uh, advising you to welcome the sun and uh, on, the on the approximate uh, appropriate planetary day uh, to also praise the planet, which is ruling the day. So typically the color of um, Jupiter, which the ancients give, uh, and also Hermes, uh, Trismegistus gives, is yellow. And that's why the first uh, choice of the Jupiterian gemstone is the yellow sapphire. For Saturn, it is the blue sapphire. However, it is about the power of this sapphire and these colors, violet and blue and dark blue. Why? Because um, the, also the master being Saduno, the, the great master who came to introduce us into the era of Aquarius, uh, he lived uh, about 100 years ago. He was saying that also Jupiter loves blue and also in the day of Jupiter, which is Thursday, we may praise Jupiter with the blue sapphire. So this is beautiful. I see something in common and I see that to be very appropriate to use for both planets uh, blue sapphire and the amethyst colors as well because uh, also the, the Saturday, the day ruled by Saturn is, um, is ruled by the color of the amethyst. Um, so this is what I think would, could be interesting in, as a combination of colors because you see such, um, such conjunction we don't know. We also, we can also not be very sure with um, how smooth the changes will be because like I told you, depends on how the two planets are placed in your horoscope, especially Saturn because he's the Lord of Karma, he's the difficult Lord. So yes, um, so yeah, these talismans could be as a remedy to help us to, to go through the, this, this period in a more harmonious way because we will have the blessing of the two great lords, the two great kings, because we will praise them with the talismans. So yes, again, this time also my talismans will be made as combination of the gemstones, which I explained, uh, the metals, uh, uh, of course, and also the appropriate herbs. I am gathering herbs uh, in the spring, as, and, uh, and yes, for two, in the appropriate planetary moments so that I can um, use them when the planetary election comes to how to gather the herbs appropriately is also very important. So I wanted to announce this election now. In this, in the coming year, uh, the next election will be far in May. It will be Venus as an evening star, Ishtar in Anna from Uruk. Venus as an evening star, beautiful election. I, I can't wait 
before that, I will not be, make other talismans because the sky will be very complex. Uh, so I am announcing these elections only when relevant. No, it's not. It isn't every month. But yes, on the thirteenth of May, I will be consecrating um, Venus Evening Star talismans. I do have available uh, talismans which I have already consecrated, especially. Uh, interesting bit of, of the rarity with the rarity are the talismans of Jupiter because it was only one time in 12 years and it was this January 2020 when Jupiter entered uh, Sagittarius but also there was a period of his invisibility and the talismans were consecrated when he became visible for the first time so it was very uh, powerful election so you can uh, take a look at them but the one of the ones of tomorrow will be very interesting and I, I forgot to share with you my screen to show you uh, briefly how this election will look like let me show you uh, because it is quite for these uh, times um, of craziness actually this election looks very interesting so take a look Look, this is Jupiter and Saturn exactly conjoined tomorrow evening, 8, 30, 9, uh, 7.30 my time. Your time will be also somewhere in the evening. And look, uh, the moon is uh, forming a sextile, but also Venus is forming a sextile. So we have B sextile on the sky. Looks very harmonious. On the other hand, the ruler of the day is Jupiter because he's our mutant, he's our cocodan, which would say that he's the guardian angel. He's our mutant, which would say that the best, the, 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 the dominant of the day is Jupiter. So this is very, very, very important. So, uh, and then this is happening on uh, Sunday, which is ruled by the sun, and this is good because we do not want uh, indeed any martial rulership of the day. It may not be very appropriate for this particular talisman. So yes, this is about the uh, election of tomorrow. I expect this to be a very good remedy to help those who have difficulties because of this conjunction, um, to help them go to the change with the blessing of the two great lords, and for the others who already have the blessing to have even more better results. So uh, I will also make another video to show you how I'm making my own jewelry. I will show you my, um, well, my working place and the making of the astronomical, astrological jewelry. Maybe you will find this interesting. So have a great um, year 2021 ahead. It will be challenging uh, until the spring, but after the spring it may, I think we'll have better time. <laughs>